Activities 1. Say yes or no. A. Madhav had two sons. Ansh, yes. B. Pankaj and Rajin were lazy. Ansh, yes. C. Madhav dug up the field. Ansh, no. D. There was gold hidden in the field. Ansh, no. E. The ripe and golden paddy was the treasure. Ansh, yes. 2. Let's see how much you have understood the story. Write the answers. A. Why was Madhav worried? Ansh, Madhav was worried because his sons were lazy and they didn't help him in the field. B. Where did Madhav take Pankaj and Rajan one day? Ansh, one day Madhav took Pankaj and Rajan to his field. C. What did Pankaj and Rajan sow in the field? Ansh, Pankaj and Rajan sowed paddy in the field. D. What did Pankaj and Rajan realize at last? Ansh, at last, Pankaj and Rajan were excited to see the crops that filled the field. They realized that hard work is always rewarded. 3. A. Look at these sentences. See how they can be joined together. Ranjita, I will go to Nalbari. Raju, I will go to Nalbari. Mother, Ranjita and Raju will go to Nalbari. 3. B. Read. Ansh, Mother, I am unwell. Father, I am worried. Daughter, Father is worried because Mother is unwell. 3. C. Read. Romain played well. He didn't win the race. Romain played well but he didn't win the race. 4. Read the following sentences from the text once again and underline the joining words. Answer. Pankaj and Rajan were very lazy and never liked to work. Matab was worried because his sons were lazy. One day, he told his sons that there was a hidden treasure in the field. They dug up the whole field but found no treasure. Now, rewrite the following sentences using and, but and because. A. Pankaj was a lazy boy. Rajan was a lazy boy. Answer. Pankaj and Rajan were lazy boys. B. Pankaj never liked to work. He was lazy. Because. Answer. Pankaj never liked to work because he was lazy. C. They dug up the field. They did not find treasure. But. Answer. They dug up the field but didn't find treasure. 5. Use and or but to join the sentences and write them. A. She went to the shop. She bought two apples. A. N. S. She went to the shop and bought two apples. B. We played well. We lost the match. A. N. S. We played well but we lost the match. C. I like the dress. Rita did not like it. A. N. S. I like the dress but Rita did not like it. D. She came home. She watched television. A. N. S. She came home and watched television. E. We went to the park. We waited for Raho. A. N. S. We went to the park and waited for Raho. 6. A. Let's read the sentences. They all end with an exclamation mark because they show delight or surprise. I. How tasty the meal is. 2. What an obedient child. 3. What an interesting story. 4. How wonderful the weather is. V. What a beautiful dress. 6. B. Pankaj and Rajan are delighted because they would be rich one day. Rearrange the words in the sentences below. Remember to use exclamation marks at the end and capital letters at the beginning. I. Here treasure look is there. A. N. S. Look, the treasure is here. 2. Will be ours treasure all day. A. N. S. All the treasure will be ours. 3. Yours now it's look. A. N. S. Look, it's yours now. 4. How Pankaj Rogen excited and were. A. N. S. How Pankaj and Rogen were excited. 7. Let's have fun with words by adding del y, ness and a uh, l y, ness a uh, l y, ness a. Uh. A. N. S. Happily. Happy, happier. Happiness. Greatly. Great, greatness. Greater. You can also make your own words by adding their y, ness, and a uh, to the words given below. Sweet. 
kind, love, slash. Angry. ANS, sweetly. Sweet, sweetness. Sweeter. Kindly. Kind, kindness. Kinder. Lovely. Love, loveliness. Lovelier. Angrily. Angry, angriness. Angrier. It's, these are some new words from the text. Paddy. Treasure. Dig. Look up the dictionary for their meaning. Paddy slash paddy slash noun, plies, one, also paddy field, a field in which rice is grown, a rice paddy, two, usually sink, brie, informer, a state of being angry or in a bad mood, syn temper, the news puts him in a bit of a paddy. Paddy slash noun, plis, one, also paddy field, a field in which rice is grown, a rice paddy. Slash. One. Two, usually sing. Brie, informal, a state of being angry or in a bad mood, too. SYN temper, the news put him in a bit of a paddy. Treasure slash treasure, la, slash noun, verb. Noun 1, you, a collection of valuable things such as gold, silver, and jewelry, buried treasure, a pirate's treasure, chest 2, C, usually PL, a highly valued object, the priceless are treasures of the Uffizi Gallery 3, sing, a person who is much loved or valued. Treasure slash noun, verb, slash, slash. Noun 1, you, a collection of valuable things such as gold, silver, and jewelry, buried treasure. A pirate's treasure chest. 2, C, usually PL, a highly valued object, the priceless are treasures of the Uffizi Gallery. Slash. 3, sing, a person who is much loved or valued. Digo, dig slash verb, noun. Verb. Digging, dug, dug, dug slash, one tilde, for sth, to make a hole in the ground or to move soil from one place to another using your hands, a tool or a machine, v, to dig for coal slash gold slash roman remains they dug deeper and deeper but still found nothing, I think I'll do some digging in the garden, vn, to dig a ditch slash grave slash hole slash tunnel, brie, I've been digging the garden, 2, vn, to remove sth from the ground with a tool, I'll dig some potatoes for lunch. 3. V. Usually plus adverb slash prep. To search an sth in order to find an object in sth, I dug around in my bag for a pen. Dig. Dig slash verb. Noun. Dash. Verb. Dogging. Dug. Dug. One tilde. For sth. To make a hole in the ground or to move soil go in one place to another using your hands, a tool or a machine. V. To dig for coal slash gold slash roman remains. They dug deeper and deeper but still found nothing. I think I'll do some digging in the garden. V. N. To dig a ditch slash grave slash hole slash tunnel. Brie. I've been digging the garden. 2. V. N. To remove sth from the ground with a tool. I'll dig some potatoes for lunch. Though. 3. V. Usually plus adverb slash prep. To search an sth in order to find an object in sth. I dug around in my bag for a pen. Plus slash. S now, write the meanings here. Dash. Unsh. Word meaning paddy treasure dig. 9. A. Read the words and their meanings. I. Treasure. A collection of gold, silver and other valuable things. 2. Wonder things about. 3. Delighted happy. 4. Excited feeling or showing happiness. V. Suggest, put forward an idea. Y. Promise, to say that something will be done. 7. Ripe, fully grown and ready to be eaten. 9. B. Now, read the following sentences. Replace the underlined words by choosing one from the box to write each sentence. Wonder delighted ripe treasure. I. There is gold and silver under the ground. Unsh. There is treasure under the ground. 2. Pankaj and Rajin thought about where the treasure lay. Unsh. Pankaj and Rajin wondered where the treasure lay. 3. Pankaj and Rajin were happy to hear about the treasure. Unsh. Pankaj and Rajin were delighted to hear about the treasure.
4. Madhava saw that the paddy was fully grown and golden. Ansh, Madhava saw that the paddy was ripe and golden. 10. Below are some words from the lesson, but the letters are jumbled. Spell them correctly and make sentences of your own with them. Ansh, A. Deleted, delighted. When I visited Guwahati Zoo, I felt very delighted to see the animals and birds. B. Stower treasure. They found some treasure in the ground. C. Promise promise. Rita promised to Raz that they will read books every morning and evening. D. Word. Wonder. The child's eyes were filled with wonder during the trip to the circus. 11. Fill in the gaps with letters to make words from the story. Ansh. Paddy. Dash. Field. Dash. Dig. Dash. Plant. Dash. Ground. Dash. Proud. Dash. Lazy. Dash. L A F Z P I P A D D Y R E L I O L A G R O U N D N D T 12. Fill in the blanks with these words and complete the sentences. You may use a word more than once. Now therefore and next so but ansh, A. Summer season is good but I like winter season. B. Sohan and his friends are going to Guwahati to study so they can achieve what they want. C. The dinner is ready, therefore the cook is going to serve the food. D. Nita and Shri are going for a trip yesterday. E. First you should do your homework, next you can play. F. Pankaj was too lazy to work. But now he is doing very well. 13. Rewrite the sentences correctly. A. We must dig down the field at once. Ansh. We must dig up the field at once. B. There's treasure hidden above the ground. Ansh. There's treasure hidden under the ground. C. I am proud in you. Ansh. I am proud of you. D. How beautiful are the crops. Ansh. How beautiful the crops are.